How do crime scene investigators find and collect evidence from a crime scene? Is it through training and experience? Maybe. But ultimately, they need to formulate a strategy to find and collect relevant evidence from a crime scene. Find out how, coming up. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about crime scene search methods. Conducting a systematic search for evidence is not as cut and dry as it may seem. There are a lot of considerations to keep in mind. A trained investigator needs to be able to sift through all of the objects in a room and decide what is evidence and what is not. The evidence that is collected needs to answer the following questions. What, when, where, who, how, and why? Different crime scenes require different methods. Depending on the type of crime, the location, how many investigators are on hand to search, and the size of the crime scene. The four methods that I am discussing today, the grid method, the spiral search method, the strip or lane search method, the quadrant or zone search method. The strip search pattern reminds me of getting into a line, the one that has those velvet barriers that kind of corral you like your cattle. That is what you would use if you're doing the search alone. There's also the search method that is circular or a spiral as well. The spiral circle reminds me of a yellow brick road situation but in reverse. You would start on the outside and work your way in to the middle of whatever room you're in or area. The grid search pattern is much like the lane pattern if there's more than one person searching a particular area. You would have one, two, three, however many people lined up, um, pretty much shoulder to shoulder but arm widths apart, and they would be walking into a straight line and then they would do the full swing circle, kind of like a the synchronized swimmers kind of going in a circle but they're all still lined up. Quadrant zone or sector search pattern is where they would divide things up into boxes, kind of like a grid, but then they would put the wooden stakes in the ground and they would tie ropes to cordon each of them off. And they would do one small section at a time. Thank you for coming to my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button down below. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I'm not trying to hurt you. But I will if I have to I'ma tell you what I do Run away, run away Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get it?